Welcome back, everybody. All right, um, we are. Before we go uh, for the main quest, we're going to check out these uh, other uh, what two side quests that we have here um, before we leave, so we can just have them, and so you know we don't have to um, keep coming back for everything uh, if we want to do the next quest or something. All right, so let's see what this guy needs. Looks like a cook, and it looks like he's cooking up some good stuff. Hey, Milda. Milda. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. I felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you? No. Mm -mm. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. <laughs> he, he seems like a really nice guy. Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals, not trouble. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. That was a need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they like my food. More than ale. Well, you can like both, can't you? Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But? But my special group griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way, assuming you're as much a hunter gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. <laughs> a dash of courage. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Alright, let's see here. Wait, wasn't there... I thought there was another one. Uh, um, to uh, uh, Petra, she said stop by the... Uh, you know, tavern, if we wanted to speak some more. I hope Corvin and the others are doing better than I am. What happened to you? That damn mine is what happened to me. <clears throat> it won't be the last injury if Olven keeps shoving those tongs into those tunnels. What mine? Northeast of Chain Scrape, where the river ends. I told Corvin we should stop when the first cave in happened, but <clears throat> Olven probably threatened to cut off her pay. Or worse. How about you slow down and take me through it? 
You mentioned you were injured in a cave-in. Yeah, <clears throat> a couple days ago. That's how I hurt this blasted leg. <laughs> Corvin and the others were opening a new vein while I was checking on an older one. As soon as the blast hit, Tunnel I was in collapsed. Might have dodged it if I wasn't running on barely a spark of sleep. We were pushing too hard and too fast. And you're afraid Corvind and the others might not be as lucky if it happens again. Mm-hmm. Hit the nail right on the head. Hmm. Olvind. How come Olvin's in charge? Don't these mines belong to the Karja? Try telling Olvin that. He brought in all the backing to get him open. Might as well own them. <laughs> Fire and spit. You ask him. He owns us as well. Corvind. Who's Corvind? He's our foreman. And a damn good one. The kind that knows how to deal with management when it gets unreasonable. But Olvind... <laughs> his demands go beyond unreasonable. Corvind's been doing his best to appease him. He even blamed himself for my injury when it was Olvind who ordered the extra shifts. Sounds like a good guy. That's why we all put up with the long hours and lousy conditions. But if the whole mine becomes unstable, I'd rather suffer Olvin's wrath than die buried in rubble. Mm hmm. I could check in on your crew if I'm in the area. I would appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, deep trouble. Alright, uh, let's actually head back into the tavern real quick just to see if Petra is there. Because she did say swing by. So, let's see if she's in here somewhere. Savior, <laughs> thank you for taking the time, and my condolences that you had to endure Olvin's bloviating. I've dealt with worse. That sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvind up. What is this concession decree that Olvind wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me yeah, guess. of course. Because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olven get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience. Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the mad Sun King. And with the bristlebacks bringing work in the valley to a halt, Alvunt has plenty of time to pick at barely healed wounds. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. 
The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. <laughs> Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. Thought your job would be a lot easier without someone like Ulvin blasting hot air all the time? Oh, oh absolutely. Going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. <sighs> well, I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. You said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, maybe Ulvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. Hmm. Oh. Aloy. Here she is down here. Been the savior of Meridian needs a challenge. Play some strikes. Come to revel in some strikes, sister. Let's check this out real quick. Let me set the board. I was just passing by. I. Hmm. First timer, huh? Don't worry about it. I'll go easy on you. You got any pieces? Uh, no. Well, aren't I got an extra set? A knock original straight out of the Forbidden West. Sit, 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 sit. I'll run you through it in a hot spark. I'll give you something special if you win it on my boards, too. A uh, beginner's tutorial. Yeah. All right. Let's start off simple. The Tanakhs like to say that Machine Strike is a game of pure strategy. We each get a set of pieces. Which I already each piece represents a kind of seen machine, this, so I already kind of know how it goes. Number of victory points. And to win the game, you'll need to gain. It can be tricky remembering the details, so we use these notes to keep track of them. You see that number on the that there is how many notes, also how powerful the distance they end, of course. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's just I own the board since this is your first. Usually, you get pick up that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So remember, each machine, take a look at your notes if you need a reminder. Yeah, easy enough, huh? Now, you, you have to end your turn there, Red. We're forging onwards. Let me move. I'm just trying to get through this real quick because I saw that she gives us um, some of these pieces. Um, and just trying to hurry through so we can get onto you know the main mission. Try with that machine on your right first. Now move the piece. When performing an attack, you'll be testing a machine's comp and its own. This board and your so and top since mine and just like so. This means did you get? Oh my goodness! Yes. Knew you were a smart one. Finish up. Not pulling any punches, huh? Now grab that second machine. See how your machine can't move close enough to attack mine? You can make try it out. Downside to sprinting is that your machine can no longer attack. Mm-hmm. Now overcharge, but so use it. Let's try. Yeah, overcharge. That's about it for your turn. Now, I'll let you in. That machine, same as in the wilds. Mach you can see them marked on the pieces. Blue, sh hit them there. Now, mm -hmm. here, let me show you. Now, let that machine. Off the board she goes, and there's your first victory points. You don't have seven. Your machine, go ahead. You've already attacked a machine and moved your piece. But, if you overcharge your machine, you can attack a second time. And by the look of your machine's health, you'd be sacrificing your piece to defeat mine. But sometimes that can be a good thing. overcharge your machine. Uh, 
account. Let's just go ahead. Now we both good news. You're gonna, which means that's what now. But mm -hmm, that mm -hmm, made it mm -hmm. wasn't so hard. What? Just remember to always check for the best. You'd be surprised the advantage you. I know it saved my behind in the game. I'll try. Oh, before I forget. Yes, yeah, same. These are all my spare pieces. I want the savior of Meridian to have them. It's a small set to be sure, but it should be enough to get you in on any strike games you find out there. Mm -hmm. You might even fancy looking out for them strike. They've got all kinds of unique pieces that can turn the game in your favor. Though they'll need the right materials to craft you one. Or you might find them in the wilds if you're lucky. I know I've lost my fair share of pieces after a night of machine hunting or brew hopping. <sighs> no need to thank me. Always a pleasure to help out new strike players. Now, if you feel like playing a real game, I, I can nah, even I'm teach good. you a few things. Uh. Yeah, I'm good right now. Don't be a stranger. Gotta talk to a uh, Petra here real quick. Beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. <laughs> <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Take your pick. We got bodies to bury from the bristlebacks, the work stoppage, Olvin grading the gears about his concession decree. Hey! Weapons off the table! <laughs> You're just that, like, I don't want any trouble. Don't listen to me. Nothing a cold brew and knocking some heads together can't fix eventually. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. <coughs> My goodness. Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But I heard talk of some vanguards trying to take them down. Did they come through here? Stopped by briefly for supplies. Olvind was none too pleased. Won't be able to crank it to his advantage once the bristlebacks are gone. But how could bristlebacks and the daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. And people actually believe him? Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Ah, damn Karja slavers. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. Mm hmm So about Olvind? Around here, everything's about Olvind. How do you Yeah, it sounds like it. He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. So, he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's why. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. 
No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osra municipality, so he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Figures if he keeps up the pressure, eventually the magistrate will sign. Mm -hmm. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, flame hair. <laughs> flame hair. Alrighty, let's see real quick here. Um, side quest is uh, Deep Trouble and Bristlebacks, but Deep Trouble level 5, or suggesting level 5, and then of course level 7 for that. And then these are errands. Um, Okay, I've already got three out of five wild meat. I don't have any bitter leaves, and I need to go to a scrounger site. Okay, main quest to the brink. Find Aaron. Okay, well let's uh, start heading heading our way there. Charge your mount site. Help! It's after me! The bristleback's gonna run him down. Get to safety! Hmm. Oh, come on, switch to my other one, jeez. Get inside until it's safe. Uh oh. No, 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 no. The Chargers are after me. They said they were mountable. I don't... Uh, I'm guessing I'm going to have to sneak up on them. Um... I don't know if I can throw a rock like to get their attention elsewhere. Took a hammer to your head. Oh boy. Let's see if I can throw one way over there. Yeah, I would like to have uh, a mount. But it's kind of hard just sneaking up, you know, when they're in a big freaking herd like this. And of course, you got these that stupid burrower. Okay, they're just running. There's this stupid thing. Now can I get up to this and Yep. Let's do its thing. Nice. Okay, it's attacking this. Oh, jeez. Yeah, 
Now let me search this. Now what else did I knock off? There we go. Okay, square to hold the uh, then release to dismount or jump. Dismount just tapping at break. Um Come on. Can I not pick that up? Nope. Uh oh. I accidentally hit the dismount. I was trying to, you know, stop for the break. Can I pick it up? Uh oh, those things are on me. Looks like some sort of quarry. Hey girl, stay back. It's too dangerous. Alrighty. Look at there, a rock. <laughs> oh come on. See power cell and of course that. There's one. All right. Hit all three. Trying to get away. Did I accidentally hit mine? Yeah, my uh, mount is helping me take care of them. Four reached. Uh, let's see here in the skills. I do want to get this a resonator blast. So uh, it was that mod that I got for my spear. It says first strike an enemy with melee attacks to build up energy on your spear. Then, when fully charged, tap R2 to energize your target. Then switch to your bow. Also, yeah, you can dismantle these, and you get one metal shard. Yeah, let's pick up some of this stuff first. We'll get right over there to you in a second, buddy. There. That should be enough wild meat for Mildiff. Oh, okay, so we already got the the meat. Spare a moment, will ya? Yeah, give me a second. Oh god, I almost just walked right on top of it, felt like. I can grab 
this for my stash later. Yep. Oh, okay. Would have been stranded for who knows how long with these scroungers around. Mm hmm. Oh, you got something up here hiding. Oh, we got in here. Ancient black bracelet. Black paste. Or blast paste. And something else. See, you're a practiced hunter. Mm -hmm. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Down that bristleback, headed south. But then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass, as they do. South, after more bristlebacks? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. If you're gonna go chasing across the Daunt, you're gonna want a trip caster. Not just Ooh. any trip caster. One of mine make, free of charge. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep. Been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, well, accidents. Accidents? Did something happen in Chain Scrape? <laughs> More like someone. Let me guess. Olvind. Back when I had a place in town, he took a real interest in my wares. Kept pressing for the Olven discount. I mm. said no. He didn't like that so much. I can't prove it, but that chuff bucket set my workshop on fire. Felt it best to put some distance between us after that. Yeah, I'd say so. Cable car operator told me the bristlebacks just appeared yesterday. Do you know anything about them? How is old Karn? Back in the day, me and him got into all sorts of trouble. There was this one time... That... Anything about the bristlebacks? No. Karn said true. Just showed up and ran amok. Lucky for me, I've got you and the vanguard swooping in time to time to save my backside. I should get going. Thanks for the tripcaster. All your blasting bristlebacks. I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a tripcaster trial? Come by later if you want to try it out. I'll keep Maybe. it in mind. After I get things under control. So Aaron headed south. Should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus. Uh, tripcasters allow you to place very t various types of tripwires. It's just, yeah, tripwire. Um. Oh, what's up here? Enemies that trigger the tripwire, yeah, but we'll shoot shock and um, when the build-up icon's full, it'll be calm shot for a limited time, cannot move in a shock state, and or vulnerable to critical strikes and melee attacks. What is that that's making all that noise? Ow. We got a. Uh, let's see here. This will be in my stash when I need it. Let's repair you up a little bit. Okay. It says that there is a fire somewhere um, close by. There's one up there, and then there's that one over there. Alright, uh, we're going to cut it here, and next episode, as you can see in the distance, these big massive uh, bristlebacks.
So, uh, yeah, can't wait to see uh, what goes on in the next episode. So, thank you everybody for watching, and I'll see you next time.